the collective ideologies that I carry and all this, how I am now, is because I literally convinced myself that I may have died. My, my first book is called Did I Ever Wake Up? It's about the fact of I want to live like I'm in a dream. And I don't know if when I went to sleep last night, if I woke up this morning, this could just be my motherfucking dream. And I don't know if I woke up when I was 18 and I was in the rainforest with a shaman, okay? Cause I was really there 18 in the rainforest with a shaman. And I don't know if I ever woke up that day because from that point on, I made it a conscious decision to live a dream. And my book, Did I Ever Wake Up? has changed my life and hundreds of thousands of others, bro. I have a New York Times bestseller, my first book, Did I Ever Wake Up? It's changed lives around the fucking world. And most specifically, it changed my life, right? Because I know that the, the things I put into that book, regardless of it, if it, it pays for my life right now, because it does, I don't make music money yet, people. I make book money, okay? That's for all you artists out there. Real spit, my son makes book money. I know that I have put something down from my mind to my hands and within my body onto the page that has literally solidified me feeling like I've done something for this world. I don't care if any of my songs are ever heard, my book has done something for the world and the things that you hold in your hand will outlast anything that you can hold in your head. You feel me? If you can hold something that was in your head in your hand, you really got something. And the whole shit changed my life, man. And and you know, obviously the law of attraction and the secret and all those things that got me onto this whole wave of being positive. But like really when it was, it was like, fuck it, dude. If this isn't a playground for you guys, then I'm wrong. Cause this life looks like a fucking playground to me. It literally looks like the funnest time ever. I don't want to die, but I think I might have because I don't feel like people get it like I do. I feel like I'm a dude. It sounds selfish as fuck, but in the book, I talk about how selfish is amazing. Like selfish is a word that means redemption. Like if you're not at the top of your list, I'm so fucking sorry, but your help is not helping until you have helped yourself. You know what I'm saying? You should be very, very conscious of your movie happening in front of you. And like, I just feel like I have it figured out. And the kids that come to my shows, they, they have a lot of it figured out, but they have a long way to go too, because like, this is a fucking journey. But I feel like I'm very useful in this world, man. And like, I'm down to get used because if you can't get used, you're not useful. So like, I'm not useless. I'm down to be used. I'm down to be, someone that's able like like what i do want to talk about is is like like what we we're saying like there's some real shit that i want to talk about right now and it's about the people that have to like like for instance me i have put artists on my tour to open up for me before they even had a project out and those artists have gotten them to blow up far bigger than me right now right and what i turned that into is that i think that i serve a purpose to propel culture because I'm not the type of cat that's easily understood and that's easily look at me and you get me. Nah, but there's some pretty motherfuckers out here that can rap these little bars and the whole fucking world can be like, I get it, I'm connected. That's not me. The world not gonna connect to me off a song. It's just not gonna happen, dude. Like, I have such a fucking vast horizon right here that one song, I would love to have a hit that just changed my life, but I just don't see it happening because I need, they, 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 you can't just look at me and get me. But there's some people out here you can. And that's a gift. That's a gift for them. And I think that I have propelled this culture of all music at this point. Like, again, I don't know if I said this in your last shit, but like Kendrick Lamar, I Love Myself was not a song when Mod Son was making I Love Myself rap. You feel me? Okay. I fully believe that I have a hand in a lot of the things that have happened in hip hop. Plain and simple. I stood on the front line to make happy rap music, bro. <laughs> Okay? There was no pop rap happening. There was no little Yachty. There was none of this shit when Mod Song came out. Okay? I stood on the front line, took the heat, still here. And like, I feel like I'm meant to propel culture to where it is because the people that I've helped, like g Easy, like someone like Nash, you know? Nash has got one of the biggest songs in the last two years with the I Hate You, I Love You song, right? These are my little bros, you know? The world can get them and they can understand and they can click to it. And it's so much more than the song. It's everything, right? Me being in a competition with that shit is just useless because I'm not like a look at me and understand me cat. I mean, and no disrespect, but like there's not that much amazingness to a lot of the look at me and get me cats. You might have a conversation like this with them and not get anything out of it. 
But one thing's for damn sure you're gonna get something out of my conversations, you know? I got something to say. I'm really proud of where I'm at. And I think that every artist, cause like, bro, we're in this age where like, as soon as you get to here, the next year you're down like this, right? Because everyone's chasing their last hit. You're one hit away, chase your last song. It's like, I even said that on my shit. Remember the last one? One song away, one song away. Well, look at me, I'm a condescending, hypocritical motherfucker. Two years later, I have learned more. I'm not one song away. I could give a fuck about one song away. One song away means I'm one song away from going right back down, all right? I am literally there. I'm fucking there. I make music because that is me. I make art because that is me. I write books because that is me. I'm 31, you don't have to act like I'm just in a phase anymore. I'm really this, guys. And I could have quit a long time ago because it's not like you see Mod Sun just blow up. Nah, bro. Like I still say, I don't make money off music. I'm on tour right now and I'm in a tour bus and I'm, and I'm doing this. But guess what? When I come off this tour, I might have about 10 grand left because it costs a lot of fucking money to do this shit. All right? But like, I'm proud. I'm proud. I could go at any time and I feel like I live more after I'm gone. That's what I think music is to me. Because if you've seen, like, all my tattoos up here are people that died before I was born. All right? So, like, you got to understand, I'm already looking at this shit. Like, my idol is not fucking Lil Wayne. I'm sorry. Love Lil Wayne, but you're still alive. Like, let's keep it going. Make me love you more. And he just dropped an amazing album. That's, that's a... That's a genius. Lil Wayne goes to the fucking valley, comes out back on the peak. Beautiful thing. You know who they should really be teaching classes about? Fucking people like Dave Grohl. Fucking people like Jack Black. This sounds funny, right? This sounds funny, right? Dave Grohl, drummer for Nirvana, okay? Nirvana ends. Should have been the end. Dave Grohl goes and picks up another instrument, starts singing, and starts Foo Fighters, one of the biggest rock bands in history. That should be taught in class. No disrespect to Kanye coming out and calling himself a genius, this and that. But Dave Grohl's a genius. Jack Black can fucking play any song on guitar and go act in any movie you want. And he's a bigger dude. He came into this world like, bro, that's a genius. That's a fucking genius. Okay? Anybody out here is self-righteously walking around like, listen to me. I'm fucking this and that. It's like, you just lost. Look at Dave Grohl. He don't come out and tell you why you should fucking pay attention to him and why Mod Sun should be sitting here telling you that he was in Nirvana, which half of you guys don't even fucking know, okay? Like, the singer of the Foo Fighters was the drummer of Nirvana, okay? His career should have been done, and he started an even bigger career. That's genius. That is peaks and valleys, bro. Anyone who has to use their mouth to describe their art, just get out of my way, bro. Get out of my way.